Ugh, get these almonds out. Okay. Last stone wait. We are playing a game with stones, and on each turn, we choose the heaviest two stones and smash them together. If the stones are equal, then both are destroyed. And if they're not equal, then the smaller stone is destroyed, then the bigger stone will be left with the difference. We need to return the weight of the last remaining stone, and if there are no stones, then we need to return zero. Okay, that makes sense. So let's just play out this simulation. We'll make a helper function to remove the largest stone, and that's going to be getting the largest index of that max stone and just popping it off. Then while we have more than one stone, we'll get y is the largest and remove it, and same with x. Then if the stones aren't equal, then we need to add into the array the difference, and we'll just return the last stone if there is one, otherwise return zero. Dang, that was actually really fast. Yum, I actually love almonds personally, and oh, wait, what the heck, that's n squared. We can actually use a max heap to get n log n time. Now, because Python only natively supports a min heap, we actually need to force it to be a max heap by negating all of the elements. And we can turn it into a heap by doing heapify in O of n. Then we'll just do the simulation with a heap. We'll get y and x from popping off the heap in log time, and again, if they're not the same, we need to push onto the heap the difference. Then we can just return that final value value if it exists, otherwise zero. And the leak code's kind of stupid, but this is what passes the interview. Thank you guys for watching the video. I really appreciate it. If you want to learn Python and data science, please check out my site mlnow.ai.